Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good afternoon dear students uh, today in this particular video we will be discussing about banker and customer relationship kindly note that uh, whenever a customer opens an account in any bank it may be saving bank account it may be fd it may be rd so whenever a customer opens an account in any bank at that particular moment he or she becomes the customer of that bank so first of all you should be keeping that in mind that we are discussing regarding banker customer relationship so that must be there in order to relate them let us have a look who is banker and who is known as customer so have a brief look uh, i think you are already aware uh, that what is the definition of banking kindly note that the banking regulation act 1949 uh, it defines banking as accepting for the purpose of lending or investment of deposits of money from the public repayable on demand or otherwise and withdrawable by check draft order or otherwise and it further says that any company uh, which transacts the business of banking is a banking company so uh, i think now dear students it is clear to you that uh, a bank is any institution that is doing such kind of such kind of activities uh, money is uh, uh, being accepted and ultimately the purpose is to lend it to, to the needy for uh, various loans uh, you have already uh, studied it may be for uh, education loan home loan uh, personal loan or uh, it might be meeting the uh, needs of businessmen so first of all i have already told you what is banking and now now I have a look at customer it is worth mentioning here that the definition of customer it has not been defined even under banking regulation act but kindly note that according to uh, dr hart a customer is one who has an account with a banker or for whom a banker habitually undertakes to act as such so it should be it may be kept in mind uh, dear students kindly note that we are studying the relationship between banker and customer and i think you are aware now intense competition is there it is there in each and every field and banking sector is not an exception a number of banks are there uh, you will find hdfc bank is there icic bank is there uh, axis bank is there and uh, on the other side if we talk of public sector bank you will find state bank of india and and various other banks pnb uh, that is punjab national bank union bank of india and, and various other banks like bank of maharashtra so where to open the account and once we have opened the account then it becomes the duty of the banker to satisfy the customer by providing the best possible services so when customer will be satisfied even he will be promoting the bank the banker will be uh, the uh, other people his friends his uh, relatives near and dear he will be asking them to open an account in that particular uh, bank or to uh, get or to apply for loan from that particular account he will do so only in case he is satisfied but in case he is not satisfied uh, then it will be very bad for the uh, banker so you should be kept in mind even mahatma gandhi has said that customer is the person who is not disturbing you he is the person because of you you are in the business in case no customer is there every organization will shut down there will not be any fun of doing business or carrying the activities of some business in which no customer is there so it should be kept in mind so let us move further now as far as types of relationship is concerned so kindly note mainly five type of relationship uh, uh, we may discuss we will be discussing in this particular video and these are uh, debtor creditor relationship trustee beneficiary relationship agent principal relationship bailee bailer relationship lesser and lessee relationship uh, so the relationship that may exist between uh, banker and customer Uh, may be of various types it may be the relationship of debtor and creditor it may be the relationship of trustee and beneficiary uh, likewise it may be agent principal relationship uh, bailee bailer relationship lesser 
lessy relationship so uh, various types of relationships may be uh, there it will be depending upon the circumstances of the case and the activity being availed by the customer now uh, let us discuss each one of these relationship in detail so first of all is the relation of debtor creditor uh, that is debtor creditor relationship i think being student of commerce being student of uh, bcom you are very much aware who is debtor and who is a creditor i think it is very much clear to you so now keep in mind that whenever some person when whenever some money is deposited by the uh, customer in the bank and that point of time what will be there banker will become the debtor as the banker banking institution has accepted the deposit from the customer and what will be the status of the customer he will be considered as creditor as he has deposited the money uh, in the bank likewise whenever that whenever a customer is having some surplus amount and he uh, opens uh, let us suppose fd that is fixed deposit account in a bank uh, then the customer will be termed as creditor and the banker will become a debtor as banker has accepted the deposit from the customer so it should be kept in mind and the relationship may be other way round also uh, let us suppose uh, when some loan some advance has been given by the banker to the customer uh, let us suppose some other case is there uh, then in that case bank will be the creditor and the customer who has taken the money from bank loan uh, it may be loan it may be advance then it will be then the customer will be treated as uh, debtor and bank will be a creditor so the relationship will uh, differ as i have already told you on the nature of activity type of service uh, it, it will be uh, differing and uh, one thing more like uh, let us suppose customer has overdrawn the account overdrawn the amount i think you are aware the facility of overdraft is also provided uh, we have already discussed uh, that so in that case again customer will be considered to be uh, the debtor and as uh, bank has advanced money so bank will become creditor so it should be kept in mind uh, now uh, reverting back to the relationship as debtor being uh, sorry bank being debtor and uh, customer being creditor kindly note that it is a special type of relationship it is not so that uh, after some time um, customer is uh, asking for the same uh, coins same notes from the bank it is not possible the land bank is not bound to uh, give him back the same uh, currency notes same coins it is duty of the bank to return the money along with the no doubt interest but uh, the amount will be currency notes will be uh, different so it should it is not uh, bank is not bound to pay in the uh, through the same currency notes and similarly it should be noted that the depositor in case someone has deposited some money in the uh, bank so the customer will be considered to be an unsecured creditor and one uh, i will like to mention here that uh, Uh, uh very recently an uh, amendment was made to DICGC act uh, i think you are aware under which the uh, insurance cover is provided to the um, amount that is uh, lying in the bank that has been deposited by a, a depositor in the bank uh, that uh, insurance cover has been increased from 1 lakh to 5 lakh in case bank faces liquidation bank is failed uh, then in that case 5 lakh will be given to the uh, customer earlier it used to be only uh, rupees 1 lakh uh, then uh, one thing more you should keep in mind that uh, in order to get back the amount the demand must be made by the customer and the demand must be made demand must be made by the customer and the demand must be made uh, during uh, you may say business hours normal business hours and on some working day so it should be kept in mind and uh, moreover it uh, should be preferably made with the branch in which the account has been maintained so i think with this the debtor creditor type of relationship uh, between a banker and the customer is clear to you now the now let us move to the uh, other type that is trustee and beneficiary relationship i think 
uh, what is a trust and what is who is a trustee i think this might be clear to you so kindly note that the bank may also act as trustees like uh, when bank is accepting some securities some valuables from the customer for their safe custody uh, again in that case bank will be acting as trustee and uh, these things these articles securities valuables documents uh, these will be owned by the customer only and the banker is to deal with the articles as per the instructions given by the customer so it should be kept in mind and the position of the banker as a trustee or as a debtor is determined as per the circumstances of each case so it should be kept in mind that it will be differing from case to case so it should be kept in mind and it was the it was regarding the relationship between banker and customer the, that is the relationship of uh trustee and beneficiary and now the next part is agent and principal relationship i think uh, in mercantile law in commercial law uh, you have already gone through you have already studied indian contract act and uh, uh, in that act you might have studied in detail the concept of agency for principal agent relationship used to be there types of agents i think you are already aware what are the duties of agent what are the responsibilities what are the rights of agent so in that sense you should uh, be considering this kindly note that uh, uh, again bank may act as an agent of the customer and bank may perform number of uh, transactions uh, for their customers for the convenience of their customer a uh, bank may accept bill of exchange bills for collection on behalf of his customer then a bank will become an agent and in this case the customer will be the principal he will be the principal again uh, agent is bound by agent will have to agent will have to fulfill uh, and uh, he will have to uh, abide by the standing instructions in case uh, the customer has given some standing instructions to the bank and bank will be under a duty well bank will have to perform that duty again then in that case also bank will be acting as an agent but one thing my dear students you should keep in mind uh, that bank must act with reasonable skill reasonable diligence as per the instruction of the principal or as uh, as is expected in normal course of business as per the prevailing customs in case a uh, bank fails to perform its duty in the best possible way in that case a bank will be responsible for the loss in case some loss is there due to negligence so in that case bank will be duty bound to make good the loss so it becomes the duty of the bank uh, to act in the most uh, you may say diligent way uh, skillfully bank should act then bailey bailer relationship uh, again my dear students you might have studied the concept of bailer bailey in indian contract act uh, while studying your subject on commercial law or uh, mercantile law uh, under indian contract act you might have gone through this topic but otherwise also it is not a big thing kindly note who is bailer who is bailey when something is given when something is given to some other person for safe custody even for you may say for use in that case the person who is giving the goods he is known as bailer and the person and the entity to whom the goods are given Uh, that entity is known as the bailey in this case banker will be acting as bailey and the customer will be the bailer uh, when the bank accepts articles it may be uh, valuable articles it may be diamond gold securities or various other types of document for safe custody uh, then uh, its legal position becomes uh, that of a bailey and the customer will be uh, called bailer it will be the duty it will be the responsibility of the bank to return these goods safely to the customer and again uh, as i have already told you just now uh, that bank should act with reasonable diligence reasonable skill and uh, should take care of the goods bailed to it as is expected uh, from anyone in the ordinary course of business according to prevailing terms according to custom in ordinary prudence so uh, again one thing more is there uh, 
uh, that in case in case some loss is there in case some loss is there but but you have taken uh, full care you have uh, acted with full diligence full skill in that case you will not be you will not be responsible for the loss but provided that you have acted the banker has uh, acted in the uh, diligent way very skillfully again uh, banker in this case we are uh, studying bailer and uh, bailee relationship so uh, in case the customer has kept some valuable articles diamond gold securities or some other documents with the bank so banker will be the bailee so bailee will be having the right of particular lien as per indian contract act so bank will be having lien until it receives the remuneration for the services provided so until and unless the remuneration is paid uh, to the banker so belly that is the banker in this case has the right of particular lien in respect of the goods unless there is some contract to the contrary so it should also be kept in mind and now last we may say various other types of uh, relationships might be there but we are discussing the main part so a lesser lessy relationship may be there you might have visited the bank sometimes in order to operate uh, you may say locker and think you should be aware that locker facility is uh, given by the uh, bank to its customers so when uh, a locker is given by the bank to a customer so in hiring a locker uh, what is the status of uh, bank a bank becomes a lesser and the customer becomes a lessee so lesser lessee relationship is there between uh, these two parties banker becomes lesser and the customer on the other hand becomes the lessee so uh, again you should keep in mind that uh, i think you should study in detail what are the provisions to operate the locker you will be uh, knowing you will be able to know a number of things which might be useful in your day to day practical life so lesser is not responsible for any loss or damage rather it becomes the duty of the lessee to ensure the valuables uh, things w- which have been deposited in the locker so in this case uh, the relationship between banker and customer will be that of lesser and lessee now dear students now moving to the last part uh, that is after discussing relation we may discuss these part that uh, Uh, why opening the account bank should act very diligently very skillfully so various norms are there i think you might have uh, studied the word kyc know your customer and a number of identifications are, are to be uh, given aadhar card voter card and uh, license a various uh, photo uh, is to be given photo card uh, is to be given some witness are to be uh, given pan number and various other formalities are required to be completed now uh, let us suppose the account has been opened i have already told you that once the account has been opened uh, then the relationship starts and once the account has been closed the relationship ends it might be there after some time but but uh, on that particular moment for for some while the uh, there is an end to the relationship now what are the rights of the bankers i have already told you a number of rights but still i will be discussing these rights of lien i have already told you let us suppose you have kept some valuables you have given some uh, valuable valuable articles important documents and you know, for the safe custody to the bank and you have not uh, given the uh, remuneration to the banker so in that case the banker will have the right of lien until the payment is made by the customer to the banker till then banker may not return the goods or article valuable things right of set off so banker is in a position to set off the amount from the other account of the customer similarly right of appropriation is with the bank let us suppose two accounts are there in one account you are having surplus and the in other account you are having deficit so it may be set off it may be appropriated by the a banker it is the right of the bank to charge interest and it is the duty of the customer customer is duty bound to pay the interest to the banker 
so it is the uh, right of the bank to charge interest and in case some circumstances are there genuine circumstances are there in that case banker may even close the account of the customer and it is the right given to the banker what are the duties of the bankers as some rights are enjoyed by the bankers uh, at the same time some duties are also there as far as banker is concerned so what are the major duties first is duty to honor the check if everything is in order uh, let us suppose some check is presented check is given to the bank so bank is uh, duty bound to honor the check in case everything is uh, in order it is not a postdated check it is not a mutilated check a date is perfect and uh, amount is uh, amount given in words uh, tallies with the amount given in uh, you may say figures proper sign is there proper date is there everything is in order so in that case it is a duty of the banker to honor the check similarly it is a duty of the banker to maintain secrecy it is not to uh, banker is not supposed to uh, reveal give the details of the accounts of the customer to everybody it should not be there in case some legal uh, issues are there in that case uh, in on proper document as per the proper demand notice the bank may give the information but not otherwise then it is a duty of the banker to maintain proper records whenever some statement is required by the customer so bank should give the required information and it is the duty of the bank to follow the instructions given by the customer there may be some standing instructions like to pay school fee like to pay lic premium like to pay electricity bill so these are to be kept in mind by the bank similarly uh, it is a duty of the bank to give the notice before closing the account as i have already told you that a banker may close the account of the customer uh, under various circumstances but before doing that uh, notice should be given to the customer and it should not be closed outrightly it should not be there without giving the notice to the customer his or her account should not be closed so uh, with this uh, we end uh, this small topic that was relating to banker and customer relationship so uh, one thing more i would like to mention here that uh, now in the era of competition cut throat competition we should try to the banker should try to maintain healthy relationship with the customer only in that case a uh, bank will be able to survive to grow in the market uh, otherwise it will be out of the market sooner or later so okay thank you